Hare Krishna. Spiritual knowledge makes us far-sighted and deep-sighted. When somebody is far-sighted, they can see the distant consequences of present actions. They can see the long-term future and thus they can plan and prepare to choose healthy courses of action right now. And in this way, people who can see the future, people who are far-sighted, are considered very expert. And they are often consulted as very valuable guides for making important decisions. Similarly, if somebody is deep-sighted, then when an issue is going on, they don't just look at the surface, this person is shouting, this person is doing like this. They go deep and understand what are the emotional issues involved, what are the their insecurities that are making people behave like this. So if somebody is deep-sighted, they go deep into the issue and thus they can tackle the issue. Often it is said when there is a problem, the problem is simply the tip of the iceberg. That is a spoken problem. But the unspoken problem is like the big, uh, large iceberg that is below the surface of the water. So the deep-sighted people can go deep in like that. Now when we acquire spiritual knowledge, it makes us both far-sighted and deep-sighted. Normally, if we look at life, we live life and we die and it's over. But when we get spiritual knowledge, we understand we are not the body, we are the soul. Then Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita in 2.13, Dehi no sminyatha dehe kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara praptir dhiras tatra namuhiyati so he says, Dhiras tatra namuhiyati. The sober people are not bewildered by the bodily changes such as death. They see that this is not a change different from, from boyhood. We grow to youth, from youth we grow to old age. And similarly we'll die. This is an ongoing process. But I as the soul remain unchanging. So this vision makes them sober, undisturbed. How does this happen? Because of far-sightedness and deep-sightedness. So, <clears throat> when we understand that we are souls, we see beyond this body. And we see that death is not a termination, but it's simply a transition. That is not the full stop, the period in our life journey. It is simply a comma. And when we are far-sighted like this, we not only get the assurance the confidence, the freedom, the decrease of the fear that death will terminate everything. But we also get the farsightedness by which we prepare for our post-mortem destination. We work in such a way that we take care of the soul by which the soul will gain an auspicious destination in the next life. And similarly, we see beyond the surface of things. We don't identify ourselves with the body and think of bodily situations to be the ultimate things. We see beyond them to the mind and beyond the mind to the soul. That's what Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita when he states in 2.14, next verse after this, that Matras Parishas to Kaunteya Shitoshna Sukha Dukha Daha Agama Paino Nityas Tamsti Tiksha Swabharata That the stimuli that happen at the level of the body and the mind at the level of the body, there is heat and cold. At the level of the mind, there is pleasure and pain. But you, O Arjuna, are beyond all these. You are a soul. Therefore, don't be so affected by them. They'll come, they'll come and go. So when we just become deep-sighted, we learn to tolerate life's upheavals without with ourselves getting shaken. And thus, we can move with greater purpose and achieve greater success when spiritual knowledge makes us far-sighted and deep-sighted. Thank you. Hare Krishna.